just in general though like the the more kind of boxed in you are it's very hard for you to grow because especially as certain things evolve it might become easier and easier and easier but if you're not growing as an artist and you're keeping your finger on the pulse then it um it limits you and where you can go further down the line um yeah which is so important yeah um, and i think software design really plays a large part into that really because like uh, if we take for instance unreal engine right mm -hmm. uh it, it is it is so easy to navigate almost every component of that once you get like once you get comfortable working and navigating in that space like if you know how to search for the details you're looking for the attributes you're looking for in you know layout you can also find that they use that same methodology for like particles or simulation or things like that things are very easy to find once you sort of start to see you know the the, the web right like and start to see you know, drink the kool-aid i guess you know once you have those purple glasses on and you drank the purple kool-aid and then you see you know you, you get a feel for it it's like i i want to just think of it in you know terms of questions what do i want to do oh i want to do this okay i can go i know there's a place for that if I go there and just check things out and it's they unreal makes it very easy to kind of navigate and find your way and like to find the thing that you're looking for and say maybe maybe it's this button you know and it's you yeah. know I think that's definitely a um you know as opposed to like there's there's other softwares out there where you just you they just don't integrate like they purchase all this stuff and they, they have there's plugins and stuff but every plugin that unreal has is integrated it looks like everything else in unreal and it acts mm -hmm. like everything else in unreal and it's not a completely foreign place that you need 17 tutorials to pick up you know in terms of unreal like are there any good go-to resources that you'd recommend for people to learn and uh get up to speed quickly with unreal and again again i, I realize there, there's a lot of information out there but like um at least from what you've observed yeah, I mean, and, and that's the other thing, too, is that there is a glut of information. As a supervisor, I do get asked some questions where and, and you know, this is a part of being a generalist, too, right? Like you can't remember everything. Yeah, it shocks me when someone says that they can't find the answer to something because like I don't need to know everything. I know Google will have the answer. And Absolutely. if you're not able to Google something, then yeah. like it's it's a serious problem. No, totally. I mean, there's so many times that, that I, I guess just people just assume that you know i've been since well, they think it's beneath them is the other thing right there's that it's like i i there <laughs> i'm just gonna ask a human because i can't just go to google for this but there are so many times i get asked questions so i'm just googling off to the side and i'm like yeah. oh yeah that's right like i've done it before but it's left the memory banks long long ago you know that's right and it's just you just got to get that refresher but um yeah i mean in terms of resources unreal does they have their own so if you are looking for resources for uh learning unreal they they do a great job of hosting a ton of great content on their own learning portal uh there is tons of great youtubers out there just literally search up the thing you're looking for and find a cut like the top you rated videos there there's some dreck out there you get definitely got to filter through a little bit um that's you know i go through i find a ton of stuff that way uh, there's a few places i could recommend uh you know one of one of them i'm happy i happen to be teaching at you know and on mm -hmm. nights and weekends uh cg pro we i you know i just went through um this past year and uh this is another thing that's amazing to me is that like it, it, the invigoration that this uh you know whole endeavor into real time has given me it's like really kind of rejuvenated like it's given me that spark again right like i would have never uh gone through and done the whole master class of for, for autodesk maya i love Maya. i've been using it for mm -hmm. 20 25 years now like i was you know maya 3.1 when i started it and uh but I, I i never felt the need to go do like you know the get the get the authorship but i went through uh the um unreal authorized uh instructor you know thing this year which is uh, uh was that it was tough it was really tough <laughs> And they they do a good good job of uh, sort of gatekeeping that to make sure that they have people that really know the engine through and through before they give them the um, the certificate there to make sure that they're um, uh, you know authorized to instruct uh, and, and we also I also I work with um, CG Pro uh, to teach and uh, it's, it's a couple of people that started um, you know literally like not literally in their basement but um, you know in their backyard or whatever and um, Noman started in a basement Alex Alvarez I still remember videos of him as like. A teenager or early 20s like long hair sitting in what looks like his mom's basement or something doing maya um vhs cassettes so yeah <laughs> yeah it's great and yeah i had a great I still time give him shit about that by the way <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah no I, and i i taught for six years at noman i loved it mm -hmm. there it was, it was amazing yeah, yeah the, the resources are easier to find and then you like one of the things i was going to say is that you don't necessarily need a, one of the big school like you know 
kudos to SCAD. I owe a lot to them. Kudos to Nomen. I owe a lot to them, but it's, it's getting, and they are doing a good job of keeping up with it and, and staying nimble and offering standalone courses in it because that's kind of what you have to do now. And that's what CG Pro is doing. That's what we're doing. It's just a, like, it's it, like, look, you want the fellowship experience, you know, even though they're not offering it anymore, come to us, we'll put you right through it. Um, I've been teaching more of the advanced stuff. Like we got blueprints, we've got a character course, we've got um, uh, ICV effects. We, I do, we, we did an LED uh, shoot for part of our class very recently. And um, that's, it's super fun. It's super rewarding, super challenging. Um, but uh, it, it's, it, there, it is a good resource if people want to, there's, there's tons of them. There's CG Spectrum. There's lots of like little okay. shops like that, that don't cost you an arm and a leg in four years of your life you know so if i were yeah. getting into it now the resources are just infinitely uh, more accessible like i assume that the recruiter has looked to see if they've got a, a college degree or something like that i don't look at that I, I, no. I look at the person i look at the work i don't i'm not looking for a college i don't care where you went to school 